This weekend, we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently. Instead of going to a state or national park, we're gonna be going to a private resort park called the Umqua's Last Resort, located in Umqua Forest, right along the river. This resort looks really cool from what we've seen online and through other YouTube reviews. And we're really excited to check it out as it comes with a bunch of really awesome amenities like hiking trails and luxury campsites. Um, there's a hot spring there that we're really excited to check out. So we're going to get this RV packed up and ready to rock, get ready to head out, and uh, we're going to take you along for the ride. So let's go. Today, we're exploring Umqua's last resort in the heart of the stunning Umqua National Forest. This place is an absolute gem, offering everything from full site hookups for your RV to luxurious glamping tent sites. So let's dive in and check out what makes this spot so special. At first glance, the RV spot that we had, which was number six on the campground, felt a little tight. Our Class C is 25 feet long and we brought an extra car so we could explore the area easier. Luckily, most of our stay we didn't have any direct neighbors, but if we had, they would have been literally 10 to 20 feet from our rig at all times. The firing that came with the site didn't come with the grate and was essentially a hole in the ground with some rocks surrounding it. Luckily, we had an RV and did most of our cooking inside, so you're going to want to plan for that if you plan to cook at your fire ring. On our first day at the campsite, we were able to take a short hike to a swimming hole right outside of Umqua's last resort and end up at a grouping of fallen old growth Douglas firs that piled over a creek bed and small swimming hole. It was tricky to climb over with our dogs and I had a carry pack for our son, but we were up for the challenge and let the dogs jump in for a quick swim. Needless to say, I think they enjoyed the water on that hot day. After some time in the water and a short hike back, we were able to jump in the shower at the resort in their comfortable shower stations. This was a nice cherry on the trip. At first, we weren't sure if we could use the showers as the information we found online suggested that we needed to pay $5 per shower. Resort guests get to use them for free, which was awesome. Another important thing to note is that the resort does sell firewood, which is highly suggested so you don't bring any wood from anywhere else, but there's no convenience store at the resort itself. Luckily, there is one about one minute away westbound down the highway outside of the resort, so you're gonna wanna plan accordingly if you need to go stock up on supplies. On the second and full day of our stay, we decided to hit some local hiking trails and try to locate the Umqua Hot Springs. Our first hiking trail that we did was a short hike to see Tokuchi Falls. Starts at an old wooden pipe that has water spraying out into the parking lot. We then began the short but steep hike, stopping along the way to see different scenic shots. What do you think, mister? Huh? Good. This trail was listed as an easy hike via Google, but in all honesty, it was a little more challenging than we anticipated. I mean, we're both healthy and consider ourselves athletes, but older generations or younger families might have found this more challenging, as there were stairs to traverse, boulders to walk around, and a lot of routes that crossed the trail. So plan accordingly for this. How do you feel about these stairs? <laughs> really, really great. At the end of the trail, you'll find yourself on a raised platform that overlooks the Tokuchi Falls. It was beautiful. We were hoping to be closer to the water just so we can take a quick dip, but it was shaded enough to keep cool. After finishing up the hike, we decided to try our luck with finding the hot springs. Apparently, the hot springs were nearby, and after a 15 minute drive up the exit that we were on, we learned that it was going to be much more challenging. So, it's not every day that you get to hike up a mountain. Hey, bug just on me. And go to a hot spring. So this is gonna be interesting. To get to the hot springs, you're gonna to have to go up a steep mountainside that has a railing along the path. When we first got there, it was only a few people, and so we decided to stick around and enjoy the water for a bit. The hot springs are made up of a collection of pools that run down the side of a mountain. It was beautiful and a really cool bucket list experience. The water that were in the higher pools were much hotter than the water was down in the lower pools. For people interested in experiencing these pools, it's important to be aware that there are plenty of dangerous cliffs and trip hazards. Approach the area with caution. We also didn't let our son fully emerge in the pools because they were pretty hot and he basically just sat next to us and splashed in a little waterfall. He had a great time. After finishing up at the hot springs, we decided to hike back and head home for the night. If you're looking for an unforgettable camping experience in one of Oregon's most beautiful regions, be sure to check out Umpqua's Last Resort. We had a great time and we'll definitely come back. It was priced fairly and just a really cool experience. 
And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome travel content. Also, you should check out one of these other videos while you're here. Who knows, maybe you'll find your next great adventure here on our channel.